Hi, and thanks for joining. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick demonstration of how you can use embedded pages in Flexitive. Um, before we get started building, though, I wanted to quickly highlight what I'm going to be using today and how I'm going to be using them. So, in Flexitive, I already built these three different uh, Flexitive designs. Now, these are fully responsive Flexitive designs. Um, I've, I've covered how to build one of these uh, in uh, other videos as well, so I won't be going too much in depth on how to build these individual designs today. Um, but I did want to highlight, I built these already and I'm going to be using them to build this design today. So I've got kind of a video background, I've got a carousel of uh, rotating elements here, and I have a set of uh, menu items. So this could be, uh, so in, in theory in our case, this is a menu board that would be displayed um, with different prices for different coffees. So I'm going to get started building. I'm just going to call this Adaptive Bean Menu Board. And just tap Create. Then from here, as usual, I'm just going to scroll down and jump into a responsive blank canvas. Switch over to my full screen sizes, and to start, I'm just going to build a 16 by 9. Now, normally here, this is when I would start uploading some different image assets, but today I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. So we'll start off, we're just going to set the background to be white, and then in the Assets panel, I'm going to jump over to this Embed option and click on Page ID. Now, under this Embed Page ID, I can copy and paste the design IDs for different uh, designs that I built before into this field and click this arrow button to upload them into Flexitive as assets that I can use in my design. So just to quickly demonstrate that, I'm going to close this full screen, still in the editor, just out of full screen mode, and I'm going to copy the uh, design ID for these menu items here by clicking on it and then I can paste it and upload it here. I can do that for my hero items, hero images, sorry and my video background as well. And by doing that, I've now taken these three different designs and I can now use them in my Flexitive Design like any other asset. However, there are a couple key differences between an embedded page and some of the other assets like images that you might be used to working with. And the biggest difference and one of the biggest benefits of these embedded pages is these are capable of being responsive. So for the first size, it might be a little bit more difficult to see it, but just to kind of demonstrate what I mean, I'm actually going to put this uh, brewed coffee, sorry, this uh, menu list onto the canvas. So you'll see right now in the editor, it's stacked kind of brewed coffee, espresso on top of one another. And that's because for the aspect ratio that it's being viewed at, this is the best layout to show it in. However, if I start to flatten this out, you'll be able to see that it actually adjusts to the different screen sizes, just to make it so it works a little bit better with the way that it's going to be viewed here. So I'm actually just going to set this up so that it's right along the bottom, and just kind of filling the bottom of the design. Now, I've built this design already to be responsive, and I can, I've done the same with these other two designs that I'm going to use here. So I have my coffee beans, and this is just going to be a really rough and simple design. You can go a little bit more in depth and be a little bit more precise than I am being, but just for the sake of demonstrating the benefits today, I'm going to make sure just to uh, get it onto the canvas quickly for you. And then just to make it look a little bit better, I'm going to take this bottom layer and actually bring it to the top, just send it all the way to the top so it lines up a little bit better. And you can see here, I've already created this first size, and I might make a couple small edits. For example, I might just make this a little bit smaller and this one a little bit larger. But for the most part, because I've already built out these designs as fully responsive designs, this is actually my first size done. So if I save this now, and I go back out to my all sizes view, you'll see that I now have this, uh, this first 16 by nine size done. Now, where the benefit of these um, responsive pages really starts to show is when I start resizing to additional uh, aspect ratios and breakpoints. So I'll turn off this uh, show all active sizes, and I'll just start activating more aspect ratios. And as usual, Flexitive will adapt my current layout to make it work a little bit better. Now, when I get to this one by one, this is starting to look a little bit weird the way it's laid out. So I'm going to jump in and just quickly resize things a little bit so they fit a little bit better to the canvas. And because the designs that I'm using are fully responsive flexitive designs, they're going to be able to adjust to this new layout perfectly for me. And again, you might do this a little bit differently than I am right now. Your layout might be slightly different, but just to quickly demonstrate how simple this is. 
go back up to my all sizes view, go to portrait, full screen, start activating some additional sizes. Now you can imagine a menu board might actually be displayed in some in-page sizes as well, so I'm actually going to jump into those, landscape, and again, make some quick adjustments. I'll set this one up so that the layout might look something a little bit more like this. Now because I'm using these responsive embedded pages, Flexitive is able to make these different sizes very, very quickly. All it is is just resizing a couple different elements. And if I wanted to, I could add in um, other uh, break. I could add in other elements. I can still do this with, say, images layered on top of them as well. But I'm just keeping it really, really simple today for the sake of demonstration. So for these, I'm actually going to force it to use that two by one layout that I just created. So two by one, two by one should learn from there. Perfect. So from here, if I was to go and preview this design, you'll be able to see, tapping preview, as normal, all of the different aspect ratios that I've built are going to be visible from here. But the thing I really, really wanted to highlight was this all active breakpoints opening up the standalone preview. Now, as I resize this design, if we just give this a second to load here, sorry about this. As I resize this design, you'll be able to see the different elements actually adapt to the different screen sizes as I go along. So you can see kind of more of the portrait views that we had, some of the in-page landscape views that we were working in, some of the full screen sizes. And it's able to be fully responsive. Each individual element is its own responsive element, which makes it very, very robust for um, taking this and applying it across many, many different screen sizes and resolutions. And that was everything I was looking to chat about today with embedded pages. Um, if you have any questions about anything I covered, uh, anything that might be that you might um, have some feedback on, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, best thing to do is use this contact support icon. We do answer this within one business day. Um, and then of course you can always use the support articles so you can look up embedded pages and see uh, the support articles that we have on all of these on embedded pages in general. So thanks again for joining and uh, hope you have a great day.